Hello, everyone. The referees, Stefano Cesare, are ready to go. Here we are in the last day of pool play for the women's CEV Euro Volley competition of 2023. Today in Pool C, Germany is taking on Tokyo. You can see them walking into the stadium, filming for the vlog. <laughs> Well, my name is Key Michael, and I'm so excited to be your host for today's matchup. I know a thing or two about vlogging, but these teams arrived just about an hour ago to the Castello Dusseldorf here in Germany. There's the home team of Germany, but both these teams will be hoping to compete in the finals of this year's Eurovolley. It's going to be held in Belgium on September 1st and 3rd. That'll be live on Eurovolley.tv. We'll soon get a chance to hear from one of the players of each of these two teams as they give us some insight and perspective on the match ahead of us. These two teams, they've actually met 20 times in international competition. Turkey coming out on top 16 times to four. I can today you are playing against uh, Germany, against the host. It's your last game, you are unbeaten team. What are your expectations? Uh, I think Germany is a really great team and when they receive good, they, are, they have really so much quality in attack. Uh, but also we prepared and we did our tactics. So today we want to show our best game uh, because we have so many important games in front of us. Uh, we want to go Belgium uh, with smiley faces. Mari, today the last game in Dusseldorf for your team. Uh, how does it feel? Is extra motivation to show even better volleyball? Yes, of course. It was amazing to play at home. I think our home crowd was really great. Um, so I'm really happy to play one last game here. And today you're facing Turkey, a difficult opponent. Uh, what are your expectations ahead of this game? Um, we had a couple tough games and for sure Turkey uh, is by far the strongest in this group. So I think we can just go into the game and see what are our chances and if there's any chance, try to take it. Well, there you go. Heard from Ilkin Aydin on the confidence on the Turkish side. Normally, she's been fantastic for Germany, but as mentioned, this is one of the toughest teams, if not the toughest team, in the competition. The side eye from Edvard Karakurt there. But, well, the last four times these teams met was Turkey, who had the win that was in the World Champs last year as well as in the VNL 2022 and 2021. Last time Germany had a win over Turkey was in the summer of 2020 during the Olympic qualification tournament. So you can see players getting ready as they do, going over the stats, the stats, the tactics, the strategies for the captain in the anthem with that of Turkey and Lena Stigrot of Germany met with the referees to determine who would have the first serve. Here we go. Goal decided. These two teams, well, they're part of Pool C, which also includes Greece, Azerbaijan, Czech Republic, and Sweden. There's 24 teams in the competition, and over the last few weeks, all of the spots have been doubled up into the next round of the qualification. 76 matches are going to be played in total throughout Belgium, Italy, Estonia, and Germany. The next round of the competition to be held on August 26th. There's what's coming up next. Turkey and Germany, Serbia and Belgium, the last two teams besides these two to find the last spot. Pretty much all the spots have been booked. It's just a determination of where each will finish in the pool. Both these teams looking good to advance. It's the last match of pool play for both of them. And as you can see here, a win would pretty much secure Turkey in the top spot, but Germany needs to fight if they're going to have a chance to overtake the Czech and take that second spot. Turkey has had a relatively full summer already. They competed in the VNL, traveling over the span of six weeks. They hosted in Antalya, Turkey, Hong Kong, China, and then they went over to Bangkok, Thailand to face the best teams in the world. Turkey finished third in the standings out of 16 total teams, losing only to the USA, going on to finish as champions in Dallas, Texas. Well, this is one of the big reasons as well. Ede Erdem Dundar, one of the veterans of this Turkish side. The 36-year-old middle blocker. And of course, not to be missed, Melissa Vargas, 
23 year old opposite who's just joined the Turkish squad recently had 22 points and two aces against Greece yesterday. Made a center batch to China for the next season. Well, Camilla Weitzel, she was fantastic in their last showing against the Czech Republic. She had 20 points, including five huge blocks. And Dresden and now Portieri in Italy. Lina Stigro, the captain, keep an eye on her, the 28 year old outside hitter. She's always one of the go to attackers. With one of the top scores as well in the last match with 20 points. She's going to lead this team with experience and determination. There's a look at the entire lineup for Germany. Germany's been a little hot and cold over this tournament. Started off with strong wins over Greece and Azerbaijan and to help both Sweden and the Czech Republic. Turkey, they've had some success. They've had four wins already under their belt against Sweden. Azerbaijan dropped only one set so far to the Czech Republic. They're sitting on top of the pool after a 3-0 win over Greece yesterday. As mentioned, both these two teams should finish in the top four. Enough to make it out of pool play, but the results here will be determinants of who faces who from Pool A. The Turkish fans are out in droves as per usual. They will be so excited for their team who had that 3-0 win yesterday against Greece. Looks like we are just about ready for the national anthems. As both teams are in place. We'll step aside to respect those. Well, the excitement mounts in Germany as the home team takes on the number one team in the pool, potentially the number one team in the competition. But yeah, just come off that win at the VNL, looking really good, undefeated so far is Daniele Santarelli's team. All the high fives for the Turkish squad. 
we get ready to meet the starters for this match. Well, Turkey's opponents yesterday, Greece, they put up a tough competition in the first and third set. A lot of unforced errors by those 2023 VNL champions, Turkey. They were able to pull out the win without dropping a set, remained undefeated. Melissa Vargas on your screen there, the top point scorer with 22 points, including three well timed aces. And Brad Katakurik, despite being targeted a couple of times in reception, she held her own in the outside hitting position, adding 15 points to the tally. There are the referees for today's matchup. Benon Vizan of Romania and Stefano Cesare of Italy. Watch out for the winks. He knows where the camera is. Germany, last time we saw them on court was a slim five set loss to the Czech Republic. And that match, Lena Alsmeyer, top scorer with 22 points, including four aces. Followed closely by Lena Stigrod with 20 points. And the middles, they were particularly impressive. Camilla Weitzel put up 20 points with five huge blocks. 18 points for Maria Schultzel. He was a fixture at the net as well, adding five blocks to the team's total 12. But it's all about Turkey now as we get to meet the starters. Starting off with Kansu Ojbe, the 26-year-old setter. Melissa Vargas, 23-year-old opposite. Ada Erdem Dunda, the number 14, 36-year-old middle blocker. We saw her in action yesterday. Deva Kunash, who had a day off, the 24-year-old middle blocker. Infant Aydin, who did the pre-match interview, we heard from her. 23-year-old outside hitter Ebron Katakurt, the 23-year-old normally opposite, but now finding herself in the outside hitting spots. And Gizem Orte, 29-year-old libero, will be wearing that red jersey. There's a confirmation of the lineup. Keep an eye out for Eda Erdambunda. She had three big blocks in the last match, but reception was the standout star for Turkey. Huge percentage of balls in that target zone. And Daniele Santorelli, who's been the head coach here since 2022. He previously coached Serbia, and our world champs last year. And head coach in Conigliano as well. Very decorated coach. But over on Germany's side, we're ready to meet those starters. Pia Kessner, 25-year-old setter. Number nine, Selena Alsmar, the 23-year-old outside hitter. Lina Stigrod, the captain, 28-year-old outside hitter. They're playing Cuneo next season in Italy. Marie Schultzel, the 26-year-old middle blocker, who we mentioned was crucial. And we had a chance to speak to her in the interview for the match. Camilla Weitzel, 23-year-old middle blocker. She's also in her stats already. And Monique Strube, the 22-year-old middle blocker. In the libero jersey, Anna Pagani. She is one of the ambassadors for this CEV Euro Volley competition as a host to Germany, the 29 year old Libero. Another wearing the white jersey for her team. This team has had a full day of rest since their last match, so hopefully they'll have some fresh legs. They're certainly going to need it against the tough Turkish side today, but there is head coach Vital Heinen, been the head coach since 2022, also coaches in Nilfer, Turkey. But he'll know a lot of his opponent's players very, very well. Formerly a men's coach in Perugia, Poland, and Germany. While well, Turkish fans are out, ready to go. And if I'm ready, the players are ready, the referees are ready. And if you're ready, then we will get this thing underway. The last match of pool play for the CEB Eurovolley competition 2023 here in Pool C. It is Turkey and Germany. Turkey on the left in the white, Germany on the right in the black. The first high ball outside is well picked up by Germany. And they'll respond, finding Katakurt on the floor. Big block, oh, what a cover. Great first rally so far. Another chance for Germany. A lot of respect 
between these two teams as they fight it out for the first point. Not dead yet. Into the block and out of bounds, Germany. Fighting to the nail for point number one. That's what you get when you're going up against a home team in front of their home crowd. About to face the best team in the pool. Well, expect a lot of rallies like that. Vital Hainan can be so happy with that start for his team. Captain Alsmaier. Oh, Stigerov, excuse me, with that serve for Germany. And the response comes quick and ruthless from Vargas. Going over the top of the blockers, behind the defense, stabbing in the backboard. Deep serve. High ball coming. Chance for Turkey to keep things in play. Has to be a freebie. Morgani handles it well through the middle, off the hands. Vargas, she's going to swing, cross. And the story of the match. Already, Vargas, hot and rearing to go. She's one of those players Turkia has started relying on really, really often in their offense, and she just delivers time after time. She's got a really high swing, a really aggressive arm. Turkey adding to that power with an ace serve. Sheda Kunesh. The Vakipank middle blocker. This time finds a defender. A good quick response by Germany. After an ace serve can put you off your game. Especially early days in the set, but a good use of the middle of that out of Germany. The setter Kaysner knows how important it is to get her middles firing early. Vargas, though, is firing on all cylinders. Great push back from Gantu. Got that ball really tight, didn't really have many options with it. Still finds a way to get it out of the net. Back to her big swinger. Pagani puts it tight. There's the overpass. Handled by Ada Ertem, who gets the set back. There's the roundhouse. Quick through the middle. Onto the floor. No, not yet. Down ball sent. Another chance for Germany. This time, Foster. The quick over outside to Alsmeyer. I'm liking the offense of Germany at the moment. We haven't seen a lot of high, slow balls, which is kind of what Kukia has done a couple times in a row, throwing a real high ball up to Vargas. But have a look at those two players in the front. A really quick push from the setter. That's the Turkish blockers off guard. That's quick from Turkia, though. Ask and they shall deliver. To add them. Rundar, one of the veterans, one of the best in the game at the highest level for so many years. Think about this. She was the best blocker in the Turkish League in 2006. And again in 2022. And many, many times in there in between. Another ace serve for Turkey. Aydin this time. Alakasaray player. Looks to that sideline. Targeting Alsmeyer and that ball's just out of reach. Of Behind, kept alive. Down the line, picked up. Turkey again to Vargas and she's blocked. A stuff block early days. Schultzel and Alsmeyer. Well, you don't see that very often. Vargas trying to go down the line and in fact goes going straight into the arms of Alsmeyer. Alsmeyer, the MVP of the German Super Cup in 2021. She 
goes line to Katakurts. Over, picked up. Ball outside, no, ball behind. Here comes a big rip and a big dig. Ball's kept alive for Germany. They send a free ball. And here comes Dundar. Gets the ball back and the scramble play continues. Ball's pushed outside this time. Jousting through the net. Katakurt with a little look through the net afterwards. Sending a message with her volleyball and also her eyes. A little bit of side eye there. Saw the side eye in the locker room. She was practicing for that moment. Seven to four. Quick call from the referee. Saying that Germany out of system. Well. The rule is you cannot overtake the player to the side, to the right or left of you, or to the front or back. And I think the question there was... So we need to just check the rotation here. Make sure everyone's in the right place. This can be confusing even for veterans of the game. I wonder if he's asking. Oh, there you go. The numbers don't lie. Germany out of rotation. Point for Turkey. Ball into the net, hands going with it. So another quick and easy point for Turkey. That's a tough ball, it's tight. Figaro doing everything she could to try and be aggressive on it. And ultimately, finding the net. So I'm, we have a timeout here. Wir machen das gut eigentlich. Wir sind gut angefangen. Also, wenn es gut ist, Ball auf den Ball auf den Ball den Ball auf den Ball den Ball auf 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 den Ball the translations of the German timeout with Sahina and the Belgian coach of Germany saying, we've had a good start, we're doing well, let's play that first ball really high, let's just try and get ourselves in a position to play an offense. And we've got the right idea there, they have started strong, put up a good offense and defense against Turkey, just a couple of points there that just unluckily fell back on the Turkish side, but overall their playing has been enough to be at the level of this Turkish side. 5-9. Ball to the outside, tip. Good pick up. And another rip on the outside. Stigrot. Finding incredible angles past the block. Starts with a tough serve from Schurzel. Last ball outside to Ebrard, who's got only a little bit of Space to work with. And the set just kind of thrown up really far inside. The blockers not adjusting in time. Vargas into hands and another big block. Digrot and Weitzel combining to send Vargas back where she came from. Vargas, it's not often that she gets blocked, but I, you see the players of Turkey there asking for the coverage out of their teammates. Ball over from Jansu. Kept in play. Stays on the German side though. Good fight. Jansu, well, she's only played in Turkey, but at the highest level, she's been at Vakut Bank since 2017. She sees that overpass chance. 
Good doubt. No fears. And to the best setter of the Champions League as well in 2022 and 2023. Well dug. Ball goes back over. Germany to the outside. Ball goes a little bit wide. So another point back in the pocket of Turkey. again. And an ace serve, Jansu Ospre. Targeting Stigro down the line, forcing her to make that move. Barely any float, any spin on that float, I should say. Jansu again. Target bit inside and another ace serve, two in a row. Well, she was the MVP of the Turkish Super Cup in 2022. And you can see why, not just for her setting skills, but her all around game. Two ace serves. She's going to get time out from Germany. Similar information in the timeout. Not a bad start. Happy with the way the girls are playing. There's a four points in a row from Turkey, but that's just a tough serve coming from the Turkish side. So they picked up that level of play. And now if Germany has a chance to tip, he's just telling them what's open and what to work with if they don't have a chance to swing. Coach's timeout, coach's point. Forcing the unforced error, as it were. Kisner gets the overpass. Germany sends it back, tipped into hands. Quick through the middle, not yet. Good responses out of the Turkish blockers. And stays in play, another chance. And the impossible angle from Karakurt. Ebrar well, Karakurt has found some incredible shots this competition, proving that she's not just an opposite. It can be used pretty much all over the court. Goes tough down the middle. Block slowing it down the play. There's the pipe from Karakort, comes back over. Another opportunity for Turkiye through the middle. And the first opportunity for Zera Gunesh. Get involved in the offense. They put our friends in the stadium. But Gunesh, one of the best middle blockers of the VNL in 2023, goes up early, swings fast. And not much of a chance for the block to get on that. 8 to 15. Germany into the block, but still in play. Sigrot into the big arms of Gunesh. A monster block from the best middle blocker of the Club World Champs in 2023. Have a look at the penetration and that inside arm. That's what we talk about a lot as middle blockers. That's the most important part. Strong with that inside wrist and arm cutting off angles. High ball for Germany on the pipe. Dug by Karakurt. Back to Vargas. She's got some angles. Oh, Germany with a bit of luck. Well, Vargas swinging lights out from the right side. You see her entire body shaped in that direction. Catches the forearms of the German defense and it pops right back over and way out of line for any of the Turkish to find. Nine to 16.
Good response from Daniele Santarelli's crew. High swing over Monique Struba, who had that fantastic dig just moments ago. Well left. Turkey already have four aces under their belt, so an error is welcomed by the German side. And the 17. Deep into the corner. John from the outside, tipped into the hands of the setter. Weitzel to step into set. High ball outside. Targets again for Turkey, and this time she switches it up. Why she's one of the best in the game. It's not just about her power. It's about her precision and her direction. That ball's high from over her shoulder, yet she still manages to turn the ball down the line because she knows the middle blocker has just served on Germany's side and is a much easier point than targeting the defense on the other side. No offense to the middle blockers defending. Outside. Meyer. Does well to hang in the air there, slowing down her approach. Locker's pretty well placed. Erdem and Ojbe in the right place with good timing, but as you hang in the air, wait for the block on the way down, then you push the ball. That's how you can get it off guard. Germany playing pretty good volleyball at the moment, but 18 to 11. The scoreline is not reflective of the way that Germany is responding to Turkey at the moment. Inkenaiden, top serve, but Kessner in the mood for a joust. Kessner played in loose in Stuttgart. Now in Turin, Germany. Does well to go cheeky over with one hand. Doesn't give much away. Alsmeyer. Perfect ball in from Turkey, and that's been the story. Yesterday against Greece, they just dominated in the reception, putting that ball right on the setter's head. Today in Jansu. Yesterday it was Elif Sahin, but they had neither setter has had to move much to make their offense work, and that's what's the key to Turkey at the moment. Karakurt, she's picked up. Behind, it stays alive for just a few more seconds. But he shows to, who was crucial in the last matchup, trying to get going in the offense, but finds the big forearms of Karakurt. Schultz was one of the best spikers in the German League in 2021. Time. Another opportunity to the outside. So the wings seem to be having more success than the middles at the moment in terms of offense on the German side. But Kreisner just keeps on feeding their captain. Speed and width, that's what's feeding the Turkish block in that instance. Here comes Antonia Stouts, the 29-year-old outside hitter. Also plays beach volleyball on the German tour. Back to serve. Well, with every point, Turkey is creeping closer to closing out this first set. Back to Ozbe. Four time Champions League gold medalist with a tough serve, but a great response out of Germany with the home crowd on their side. 
Camilla Weitzel getting involved in the offense. And you know that Paisner wants to use her. She was one of the top scorers in the last match with 18 points. He needs to get her going if they're going to have a chance at throwing off this Turkish block. Vargas continues to be the go-to for Turkey. Hitting it almost three meters high, and again, that super sharp inside angle. Keep track of it if you'd like. How many times she goes cross, and how many times she goes angle, or line, excuse me. And see if you were a blocker, how you would handle that, because she just has all of the options available. Germany staying in it, 15-23. Again, using the right side of the court. It's through by that time. To have a swing, sometimes she plays as middle blocker. She's playing in that opposite role today. the line there you go there it is that's exactly what we're talking about she goes cross she goes line she goes cross she goes line the blockers have no chance of taking both at the same time they have to choose one way or the other set point for Turkey. deep serve swing into the block using the middle again down the line this time Final swing for Turkey. It doesn't land yet, but does not come back over. And 25 points find their way onto the board for the Turkish side. Great start if you're a Turkish fan. Not so much if you're cheering for Germany, but they have held their own. They are looking like a good team against Turkey, who has a tendency of ripping teams apart. Scoreline 15 to 25 doesn't really reflect the, the rallies that we were seeing in the effort in the defense on the German side. 14 kills, kill attacks to nine. Two blocks apiece, four aces that really put a damper on things early on for Germany. And not much in it in terms of errors. Turkey have been handling Germany's serve really, really well. That's something. Have a look at the light show. That is very cool. That's one of the best parts of being in the stadium live to be part of all the action. Not just watch the volleyball at home, which we love, but we have your volleyball.tv to bring these matches to us wherever we are in the world. But if you do have a chance, get yourself into the stadium because watch the volleyball at match live. Well, there's nothing quite like it. I do wonder how the players Think about it though, as they're trying to keep warm, peppering on the sidelines in the dark. Well, you saw from Turkey a little story of the match in the stats. Four aces so far for Turkey, and they've been using their high ball sets more often than not. Despite having almost perfect reception almost every single time, they're still sending that ball really high and wide up to Vargas, who's got six points so far. Haven't really had to use their middles very often. We saw a couple in front 
from Gunesh, a couple behind from Ada Erdemdunda. I do wonder if they'll start to implement that middle attack a little bit more going forward in the match. And you can see Gunesh with three points. One in the serve, one in the block, 100% in attack. He's only had one, uh, one attempt, so one from one. But I would like to see a little bit more involvement of other players. Germany's trying to force their middle. Let's see it out of Turkey. Set number two underway. And there we go. The first swing goes indeed right to Zara Kunesh, the middle blocker who hasn't had enough for my liking, for your liking, for the fans at home. I'm sure you'd love to see a lot more of her in the attack. And there you go. First point on the Turkish side. And a strong serve to back it up. Weitzel attempting with two hands. Doesn't go back over, but that's pretty clever actually by Weitzel. She's not in a good position there to attack. So she goes over with two hands. And she gets Gunesh on the floor, the middle blocker who's just served. Always good tactic to send it right back at the middle in the back of court. Good ball in from Gizem. There is Vargas again. A little faster of a set, it seemed. We're switching things up in terms of timing and height. That one coming a little inside, so again, Vargas can switch it up with her directions as well. A really sharp angle on that one again. The blockers trying their best to read her. 100 kilometers an hour, but into the net. Weitzel, two-time German Cup winner at the line. Good serve on to Karakurt. But Turkey playing hot. Yes, in Aydin. The Cup silver medalist in 2021 goes high and hard over the one block. She's got that big amount of space there between the middle blocker and her outside. Deep chance for Germany. That's Doug. Level outside. Katakurt just going to free it over. Morgani stepping in. Back to Strube. And I almost said Weitzel there because that looks like a slide. And if you're thinking that looks like a slide attack, don't be confused. Moni Struba is actually a middle blocker in her typical position in her club days. But she's playing in the opposite role at the moment. And an ace serve. What a serve. Struba. Plays in Dresden, now in Stuttgart. Won the German League in 2021. With an ace serve for Germany. Going for another one. Ooh, gets a libero on the floor. Doesn't get the full point. But Germany back in swinging position. Turkey saying no thanks. Again, look at the arms of Eda Erdem Gundar. She's not going straight up. She's not reaching to her outside. She is going straight over the net and cutting off the angle. And then she's getting an ace serve. Eda Erdem Gundar responding in kind. Have a look at the side swipe down the line. And she's played in Fenerbahce since 2008, one of the best teams in the world. Germany responding with some power on the outside. I like that speed as well. We're talking about Germany using different tactics to beat the Turkish side. They have to add speed to their offense, not just rely on that high. So Out of court, cross court, she's got the height. 197 centimeters of her. 
going sharp inside the block. So there's the high ball I keep talking about on Turkey's side. But that's why they can get away with it. They saw big, strong, swinging attackers that are going inside the blocking arms. Five. Quick for Germany into the block. And it looked like one of the blockers might have clipped the net as they were going up. The speed. Ah, there it is. Katakurt reaching outside towards the antenna, trying to convince the referee she didn't, but I think we all saw that in slow motion. In HD. Katakurt on the floor. Vargas to swing. Good dig in the backcourt. Response to the outside. Setter no longer in the play. Katakurt from the high set. Ball stays in play. Targeting Vargas. And Gunesh. Hanging in the air, playing Michael Jordan style. Well, she's normally such a quick attacker, so I do wonder if she would have liked that ball a little faster. She had to hang in the air, and it worked out because she's getting the blockers on the way down. But she can snap so fast if she gets that ball fast enough. Vargas, no surprise there. The changeup continues. Line cross, line cross. Where is she going to go? Pretty much wherever she wants is the answer to that. She sees a lot of space there. Stigrod's reaching just a little bit. Finesh, deep to Pogani. Quick through the middle. Good responses. Again, Vargas into the hands and out of bounds. Falling off the net. Somehow keeps her footing, and with it keeps the point. Short serve, Germany, quick to the outside. Germany really trying to work that speed. You can see that's a huge part of their offensive tactic is to introduce speed to the ball. Barely has enough time to get to the outside. The blockers went quickly. Ada Erdem is there, but doesn't have a full time to extend over the net. Swing goes just wide. Elton Eiden tying things up with Germany. Turkey relying on the high set, the big heavy arms. Quicker to Eder Demdundar. You see a lot of her running that slide behind. It's not often that she'll get that ball in front, but when you've got the best middle of the VNL from 2021, use her wherever you like. Argus. Goes for a top spin. Pagani keeps it in play. And a little bit of luck lands on the German side as the ball lands out. Jeremy do really well to get Vargas off the line of service. There's no getting her off that line, though. Put her on the pipe. But basically a guaranteed point. <laughs> See Dal Hayden even shrugging his shoulders. What are you going to do? Schiltzel is up. She takes away zone five. Vargas hits zone one. Pretty much a formula. Next time, if you go up and take away zone one, she'll hit zone five. Speaking from a former middle blocker, the frustration must be palpable. 
from the blockers on the Turkish side. Stefano Cesare saying, you have seven players on the court, ladies. You only get to have six. Somebody needs to get off and sit on the bench. Nice drive, Italian. <laughs> That's hilarious. Down the middle, Turkey. With a good ball in. And the response from Germany. Did I imagine it or did I see the same player play the ball in defense? Oh no, okay, it was Kessner who played the first ball. Number 26. Running it down. Timeout called. Aufschlag auf 22. Verjede. Nicht gut. The extra best. Mach tempo auf 22. Das hat's nicht gerne hier. Treff sie. Mach raus, wie kein Problem. Aufschlag auf 22. Und blocker. Du. Moni. Focus on the outside. You must not first step help. You must not fight. What you have five spiel, that spiel not too. But so that you're out. Bist. So that you're out. Bist. And sonst make it good, guys. Make it right. Everybody go! Dahane and still happy so far with the performance. Likes to add that bit of speed, looking for some tempo on the block against the number 22 on the other side. There's a bit of tempo in the offense as well. That's going to be important. Keep feeding the middle whenever you can. If you're Germany, you can't. Keep relying too much on big high swings on the outside. They're adding tempo to every single they're touching the ball, and I like that about the German side. Well, when it comes to offense from the end line, you're always going to find a couple of errors that come along with increased stress. Good serve. Down the center, a dig from Varga. She's out of the offense. Ball outside to Katakord, who despite going off two blockers, had to not beat on the ball to send it in the opposite direction. A three-point advantage for her team at the moment. Ball good for Germany. Comes down the pipe and the dig. Kept in play. Vargas flying in. Doesn't put it away just yet. But the block will do it. Dinesh and Jansu. Again, that inside arm, the most crucial part of any block. Was a timeout called. Drück nach die Mitte. Drück den Ball nach. Da ist ein Loch im Mitte. Auf diesem halben Schlag geht nichts. Oder schmeißt die Bälle was? Nee. Drück nach die Mitte oder geh vor und rauf. Aber nicht halb schlagen. Drück nach die Mitte ein Problem. Die macht Angriff ganz gut. Natürlich haben wir ein Problem. Block Verteidigung. Und Aufschlag. Nimm mehr Zeit, Moni, Aufschlag. Er braucht einen guten Ausschlag. Nimm Zeit, nimm Zeit. Das ist ein guter Ausschlag. Gut. I caught a little bit of the last part of that. Coach Michael and asking for a better serve out of his team. I think that's going to be crucial as well going forward. But they just have to continue to work the pressure on Turkey. They cannot allow Jansi to put the ball in her hand. That's what Turkey have been doing. You see it here. Germany out of system more often than not. But a good push to the outside. Well, have a look at the speed introduced there, even not from the setter. 
even the second person to step in. Couldn't tell who it was from that camera angle, but the speed. Normally when somebody has to step in to take that set, it's gonna be a high set. Everyone has time to step in and get in front of the attacker. But yeah, Germany working with some speed every single time. I like it. Vargas back at it. So much line available. Jansu is just beating her up with that width. again. Jeremy staying close. Antonia Stout played in airport Potsdam. Back to Potsdam, Germany again. Quick through the middle, Ganesh. Not having to exert too much energy. Just popping up between the blockers. Going high. Not even that hard of an attack, but you can see the placement there. Just out of reach of Pogani. Out of court. Get some bodies on the floor, gets an overpass. That'll do nicely again. It's Gunesh just waiting, hanging at the net. No chance of responding to that. serving 13 Germany not giving up without a fight and I like it they're continuing to use the middle in a good option Reisel going fast going short and sharp just behind the block clever move from the number 21 the spiker of the challenge cup in 2023 but she won gold there the moment there between Daniele Sazzarelli and the ball crew. Nineteen to fourteen. Gunesh. Ball comes right back down in the big block. From Eder, Demdundar, and Vargas together at the net. From a bump set situation, it's basically all Vargas actually just shut things down on Stigrod. Vargas was the MVP and best opposite of the VNL that just happened a couple of weeks ago where Turkey won gold. Another aggressive serve from Gunesh, not an ace yet. The roll gets some players on the floor. High ball. And another tip lands two times in a row. Camilla Weitzel, German League winner of 2021, finding a way to score. And that's a sign of a really good middle. And we talked about how important she was in the last matchup. She had 18 points and a lot of them coming just like that. It's not always about how hard you hit. It's just about getting that yellow and blue thing to hit that orange part of the court. Eder hey Dundar prefers the power version of that slide attack. Well, she's certainly a player that has that finesse in her as well. But she likes a bit of speed, likes a bit of heat. Powerful swing from Vargas. Gets a relatively easy ball back to Turkey's side. And there goes Jansu. Best setter of the Turkish League. 
in 2022 and 2019, the vision that she had there, she saw nobody in front of her. That's the moment she pulls her hands down, goes really tight over the net. No block in sight. Vargas winding up on Pogani, keeps it in play. And another big swing out of Weitzel. Weitzel being used more and more throughout the match. You can see why he's your hot hitter. And there you can see actually that's an interesting combination play. Weitzel going behind and Struba going in front. And that's the value of having two middle blockers essentially in the lineup at the same time. Ada Erdemund are basically the value of two middles in one. With all her years of experience, the 36-year-old has been at the top of her game since 2006. I'll try and do the math on that, but that's almost almost two decades of high-level volleyball out of Ada Erdemund. Ita Heinen wants to question her, though. Never question the queen. That ball way in. I feel like Ada Adam Dinda could score down the line in her sleep. Vargas on the floor. Catacourt, cross court, off the hands of Marie Schultzel. All things going the right direction if you're a Turkish fan. Yes, point, Turkey. alive for another point with another foul set to the outside just over Marie Schultzel pushing it down to Vargas that point again for Turquia will have to stay in play comes back Vargas from out of system and into the big block of the German wall but he should still ever so slightly hanging in the air. 18-24. Katakut comes firing, winding up. Well, the ball's been called out, no? request for a challenge. There will be a timeout. Sanfarelli wants to nip this in the bud. 1924. We immediately adapt in this way. Ekin, watch out because he's on our help here, brother. Okay, because we are in rotation three. Here you are. Oh, you are here. Hey. You are here. Okay, don't leave the ball on your right side. And you protect this ball. He's is here, huh? Because Eva is here. Okay, she needs to protect her in this way. This ball is yours, eh? Okay. But you start there to take the ball on your left side. It's good, eh? Fast and super important with pipe is perfect. Five. Daniela yes. Sanfarelli recognizing that the attackers or the servers of Germany are certainly going to target Adakort in the reception. So he's asking his Ribeiro Gizem to come over, cover a little bit, so there's going to be more available courts for Ilkin Aydin to cover. They do get a good ball up. He's, well, he's looking for a pipe. Let's see if his team delivers. That works on the outside. Tip, though, it's good. It's up for Germany, who go down the line. Alsmeyer keeping her team in the fight. The best outside hitter of the German League in 2021. The high ball. Shapes it over the block down the line. He's also targeting the fact that the center is front row. Jansu, one of the smaller players at 182. 
still set point Germany. Turkey, excuse me, set point Turkey and Karakurt is the one to finish it off, off the hand. Well, Karakurt loves a big swing, she loves a big crowd. She got both of them at once, going off the hands of the inside blocker. Still, still nothing she could do to slow that one down. And there's a confirmation of the scores, 25-15, 25-20. Still a good fight out of Germany. They're not doing too much wrong. Just haven't necessarily been as aggressive in the serve as they might like to be. Here's a look at some of the stats. One ace apiece, three blocks for Turkey. Turkey has given up a few more errors. Daniela Santorali is ready to chat with us. Crazy atmosphere here once again in Düsseldorf. The second set at the end, maybe a couple of breaks. What about the tension in the team? Yesterday in that situation, we were really difficult. Today I saw that the, the player were uh, not so nervous and I'm happy about it. I told you that every time there is some lesson yesterday for us, for us uh, the match uh, was uh, an important lesson. We understood a lot of situation. I'm happy that today the girls uh, have another attitude. There is a good intensity. I see that from the beginning, uh, Germany fight for sure because they have one important chance uh, to try to take uh, the second place. They play at home, but we are playing a good match and I'm happy for this. We talk a lot about the atmosphere here. Have you recognized that Tarkan is here? What? Tarkan, the superstar. The girls make music. I with know, him. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I'm happy for the Turkish people. I saw a lot of. Uh, People are crazy, and I'm happy for them. <laughs> Enjoy. Vita, you told me before the game you want to switch something. You put in three middle blockers. What was the idea behind that? I mean, we tried to stop the maybe the best spiking team of the world. Hey, I think that is what Turkey is on this moment. So um, with this Faragas and Karakurt, you have two of the most impressive spikers on the court, combined with a lot of other good ones. So in that way, you have to try something. I mean, my prediction. First set we make 15 points, second set we make 20, so the third one we make 25. <laughs> That's very easy. We're gonna check that out. Good luck, Italian atmosphere. Well, there you go. Got to hear from both the coaches. We appreciate when they take the time to chat with us. We know it takes them away from talking to the team in the timeout, so always good to hear what's going on. Meanwhile, here's a look at what's been going on in the attack zones for Turkey. A lot of ball going to that right side, as you can see, 50%. And no surprise there, you know who plays in that spot. It is indeed Vargas, one of our super spikers of the match. And here's one of her best going 95 kilometers an hour all the way to the corner there. And have a look at most of these balls. These green ones are winners. The ones returned, well, only six I can count of those little red dots have been returned. So just an incredible statistic of how
I love those slow motion replays of the match. Really feel the intensity of what's going on down there. And right now, what's going on? Turkey are two sets up over Germany. This is the last match, the last pool play match of Pool C. Both these teams will make it on to the next round. But Vargas, with her 12 points on the board, is hoping to make it a one-sided match for her team. 65% in attack efficiency. Incredible numbers there. Well, it all comes down to this. One more set. Can Germany hold on and fight for that second position in the pool? In front of their home crowd. But a lot of this crowd is Turkish fans, so it probably feels like Turkey is at home as well. Set number three, underway. Karakurt puts some pressure on the first serve. Ball behind to you know who cross court, but it's just wide. And Vargas is pretty sure that was in. In fact, all of the Turkish players asking immediately for a challenge. Oh, well, there's a little bit of smiling going on. I'm not sure if it was that clear to be in, but you know how fast she swings, it's almost impossible to see. There it is, very much in indeed. Correct challenge, and that ball was an absolute beauty. Tough for Daniele Santorelli to see from his sideline. That's why he's got his teammates, players to rely on. Short serve from Katakort, cross court goes Vigrot. He was the European Gold League silver medalist in 2014 with this German side. He's been a staple on the German team for the last 10 years. Now in that captain's jersey, leading her team to try and take this third set. Going up against one of the best attacking teams in the world. And at the helm of that one, Mel Melissa Vargas. MVP and best opposite of the Turkish League in 2023. Sees the space, she'll take it. Doesn't even go line, doesn't go cross, just goes where there's no block or defense. That's her strategy. The strategy for Germany, two middles in the front court. I love it. One of them getting fed up. Point after point, Michael comes in ripping cross courts. So fast as well. She's so available for her setter on every single ball. Marcus to swing, but Jansu pulled on the double. Nevizan of Romania didn't like the look of that one. Jansu having to lift a little bit too much, perhaps. Well, we know Germany wants to be aggressive from the end line. We heard Utah Hainan talking about Aufschlag, about their serve in one of the last timeouts. But being aggressive means more risk, more reward.
high ball swing is good. Rukia continue to work that really aggressive in action. They're just going as high as possible, as hard as possible, and it's paying off. Responding, it's just wide. So Turkey keep the point five to four. Another ace serve for Turkey. This time, Eda Erdem Gundar finding the line of the captain, Stigrod. Turkey continuing their role from the end line. And that's going to be enough for a timeout, Germany. <laughs> We need to remind that uh, if there is pipe and super in water, position five. Thumbs up from the bench. All good. We appreciate everyone keeping us ticking along here at the CV Eurovolley. Back at it. Germany trying to find a way through. Dunesh not allowing it. Dunesh, best middle blocker of the Champions League in 2023. She's hanging in the air, just diving in that direction, reading the play really, really well. Captain Eda Erdem Dundar with a tough serve. She's following it up with a great dig. And Katerport can put it on the floor on the outside. I wonder what the conversation there is between hitter and setter. A really good push there from Jansu, even from tight on the net. She's back on her heels. <laughs> Germany back to within three after that error. Turkey still with five aces since the start of the match. But they have given up nine errors overall. A couple of them from the service line. Heitzel, big swing, but there's a hand underneath it. Here comes Germany again on the outside. Tip from Stigro does not cross the plane of the net. Yeah. Looking really comfortable and calm, and we heard that from Daniele Centrelli. Talking about how his team are relaxed, and I don't know how they ended up in that rotation with Kunesh on the outside and Katakurt in the middle. But nevertheless. Overpass. Germany again, Weitzel. 
going for a big, strong cross-court swing. And again, the speed from Taysner feeding her up high and wide. She's been a go-to player all match long. She's getting luck that time. One player takes the responsibility of your attack. You cannot attack. Power tip. Bye. Hey, and, then, bye. and then you switch block. Seven to six, Turkey. And Jansu on the line to Stigrod. There's the tip behind from Weitzel. That's worked a couple of times. Make it three. And it's interesting because we just heard in the timeout from Santorelli as he was chatting to his players. If he can't swing, there's the tip. It looks like Weitzel must have overheard. He's using it against him. Better serve gets Turkey off the net. Swing and a dig over pass immediately eaten up by Katakurt. The reactions of the Turkish side looking really good now. They're just getting really playful as well. Germany's trying to force some speed, but it seems as though Turkey have all the answers. Court's aggressive swing from the end line is one of them. Oh, we might have a challenge coming here. Santorelli asking what's going on. So I think the call was an over an aggressive read, I assume, by middle blocker Gunesh when the setter of Germany might have had a chance to play. So you're not allowed to reach over. Uh, I think Kreisner was even in the net. There we go. There's the challenge for net. So successful challenge. And the point will go to Tsukie. So Turkey is argu arguing that Germany was in the net. Germany is arguing that the Turkish player reached over the net. No net touch calls. Well, that's interesting because I'm pretty sure I saw a net touch. Not, not to tell the referees how to do their job or the video challenge referees. Sassarelli a little confused as well. Out of court. Taking a little rest, and in will come the number five. Aicha, I catch. Typically wearing the libero jersey, so just to stabilize the reception, and she does. Perfect ball in. Another opportunity, Gunesh, same swing, twice in a row. Over her shoulder to zone one. Good pick up there by Vargas, and the second time of asking, ball's not coming back, Gunesh. Looking pretty casual in her attacks at the moment, but getting it done nevertheless. Vargas the line. Ball's in play, Vargas does not wait. But she is backcourt. Ah, oh, that's what happened. It hit the antenna. Well, 
Well, I like the aggression out of the Turkish side. They're not really waiting for things to come to them. They're taking the bull by the horns, as you might say. I like this strategy by Santarelli as well. He's got two, effectively two liberos on the court. He wants to make sure those passes are spot on for Jansu. Vargas, best server of the Chinese League 2022. Brings the heat again at 99 kilometers, but that double middle action working out well for Germany. Strube, winner of the German Super Cup with her slide attack behind. Beats the block outside. Four point lead for Turkey. Germany keep pounding down the door. Pass forced on the new player on court by Kac. Again, tougher on the outside. Even tougher from the pipe, Vargas, relentless. Four kilometers an hour, 2.9 meters high. 14 winning points Vargas has so far for her side. 15-11. Adercourt back in. Vargas on the floor. Adercourt cross court. And the starfish mode activated. Another one of the top performers on Turkey's side. Finding some real split in her. Put that wrist away, thumb down over and over throughout the match. She hasn't really gone line that I can remember. She hasn't really tested line. So I wonder if it might be worth Germany even going further and further on the cross and really forcing her out of her comfort zone. for Germany and an ace serve an ace serve for Germany Altmaier powering cross court and she is really zoning in on Ilkin Aydin Another ace serve, two in a row. Altsmeyer catching the net and catching the same player off guard. No way, no way. Three ace serves in a row. Are you kidding me? Lena Altsmeyer. The best server of the German League in 2020. Only a technical problem, eh? One time you pass the ball in this way, one time you fall down, and one time you look at the ball. The ball is close the net here. You say here, you don't fall down. You put the, ball, the arm out of your body. You don't, you anticipate the ball. You help in the ball. Yes, eh? That's it, eh? Bye, go. Have a look at that spread. Four last points have gone the way of Germany and they are back in the fight. 15 to 19. After Alsmeyer making mincemeat of a certain one player, Ilkin Aiden on the other side. 
has not found a response. Four aces. Four ace serves. Ausmeyer. Relentless from the end line. This Libero. That ball drops, it dips, and goes right back up. And she goes for five. Not this time. Well, eventually, Turkey get themselves back in the right direction, but four A serve from Altmaier. And the crowd can celebrate. Germany is back in this set. Perfect reception. Used by Schultzel. He played in Poland. Stuttgart, Bergamo, Marine, Munster, and headed to Poland. South. their nerve. Up serve coming. Ball outside. But just wide out of Stigro. It's a good idea. Go down the line. But a two point lead back in Turkey's favor. Oh, we've got a challenge. We want to see if that ball truly was in or out. Been called out. For an A serve. Ooh. Daniele Santarelli waiting, questioning. Well, let's have a look. Yeah. Thinking maybe that ball might have been in. And an A serve. It is on the line. A successful inch. Dantu. That's another ace on the board for Turkey. Six aces so far in total. Germany with four. Chance for Stigro. Nope, not this time. Gunesh and Vargas. Bump set to the outside. Tigro doesn't have the best posi position there. Those four big hands in front of her, the advantage was always to the blockers. And the advantage goes squarely back on side. 21. Ogani. To Tasner. Quick rip behind. And again, Carmela Weissel. Eisner still force feeding her middle blocker. The number 21 who has seven points for her team. Vargas tipping it over. Bump set to Stigrot, who finds some sand if she were playing beach volleyball. But since it's indoor, she finds some court. Even from a bump set, does a great job getting past the blockers. Pushing it just short enough to reach. From Ilkin Hayden. 19 to 21. Tasner. Finds Katakord and then it's an ace. 
Another ace serve on Germany's side, and it's Katakurt on the receiving end of it this time. Well, we know this has to continue to be a strategy for Germany. Find Katakurt in the reception. He is an opposite by trade. So there's the substitution. Under Baladin into the mix. Handles that ball nicely. Vargas goes into a massive German wall. And the block sends Melissa Vargas right back on her side. Reitzel pressing over and in. Struva coming in to help out. And another one. Ooh, almost. Karakurt, can she keep things in play? A ball for Stiegroth. She goes in and goes into the hand. Germany take the lead late in the third set. Here against the number one team in the pool. They serve there. In line three, short or deep. We follow. Okay. Then, oh. If the pass is good, we can play this very, very well. If there is seven and open, it's very good. But uh, if there is exclamative, you don't close the shot. This is very good. Okay, bye. Go. I like that timeout from Daniele Santorelli. Even though his team has lost the last five points in a row, he's not upset. He's not talking about what they're doing wrong. He's saying, here's what's open. I like you playing a seven in front and opening behind. I like you using that cross-court diagonal. Just thinking positive, giving good vibes to the team. That's that cross-court swing. Opportunity. Rival again from Vargas, who finds that angle. That has worked time and time again. It does not disappoint into the corner pops three blockers Vargas continues to deliver, deliver for her team at 3 for 2022. But a lucky strike for Germany. Now Katakurt sends one into the net. That feels good, feel good for the Germany. Germany continue in the fight. Down the line, quick ball through the middle. Gunesh. Well, she was 100% in attack efficiency at the early stages of this match. But she only had one attack, but now she's been used much more often. She has she has 6% in attack so far. Match point get. get. Serving substitution made. Has the Kalash, the seven year old middle block replacing Fenerbahce. And she closed it out here for Turkey. And not yet. Weitzel in it again. But in it to win it.
of Eitzel. Can't be used as a weapon. But Vargas can, and she will, time after time again. Melissa Vargas with 16 points for her team, even through a three man, three man block away to get Turkey back with match points. Will this serve close it out? Not yet. High ball for Germany. Over the shoulder and over the net. Two middles means two defensive players. High and hard and fast at the overpass. Trube. And now she's back to serve. 25 points each again. Targeting Katakurt. Targeting the opposite attacker who is in the lineup for reception. Three point for Germany. And with it comes set point. And an opportunity to take the third and force a fourth. Good ball in for Turkey. Quick ball behind. Hey, there, them. Disappointing. Them, another one of the go-to players. Now, Anna Baladin. Bit of help from the net. Germany staying in play. But Turkey, the door, the door. Left side. A monster block for Turkey. To match point. And the Baladin. Another bit of help from the net doesn't fall yet. But eventually, an error in the attack. Altmaier trying to avoid the block, and with it, she avoids the court. Always one for a little bit of drama. Mikhail Heyman asking for a challenge. Might there have been a touch in the block? I don't think I see any fingers moving. Unsuccessful challenge. Ball out of bounds. And Turkey can finally celebrate a win here in Pool C over Germany. Well, with that, all the spots have been booked for the next round in, in this. So, yeah, remain in the top spot. Germany finish, finish in the position. But a good fight from them, an excellent performance. They can be very proud having pushed to get his third, his third set. At very close to toppling them. And Turkey are responding as they always do as one of the best teams in the competition, if not in the world. Heavily on their big swingers. We knew they would. And Anthem Gundar in the middle had eight points. <laughs> Melissa Vargas with 16 points. And making it really tough on Germany. <laughs> Who had eight points. A lot of their... Lot of their Altmaier, seven points. Igro is six. But ultimately, this Turkish side way too strong. 
Turkey had seven aces. Germany had six. They got them when they needed them. Four aces in a row from out of the ring of events. Hugs all around for both teams. And both these two teams will be moving on to the next round. Hopefully we'll get a chance to hear from one of these players. And thoughts. Confirmation of the scores 25 15, 25 20, and 28 26. So, as Vital Hayden predicted, then they did get at least 25 points in that last set. There, look at the stats eight blocks to four, seven aces apiece. And the errors pretty much the same, but to, yeah, with way, yeah, with way more. That's how the match was won. Looks like Ada Ebden Bundar is down courtside, ready to chat with us. What can you say about this match and the performance of your team in Dusseldorf? I believe this game was really high. Uh, how to say? It was really tense game for us, especially last set. But if we talk about whole game, I believe we did good job. Block and defense also we served good. But last set, German team served really hard and they pushed us to play on the edge. But at the end, thank God, we hold on the game and we we got the win. Three, so we are much more happy, really, because we want to finish our group stage with win as much as we can. So five on five, it's perfect. Thank you very much, and good luck Thank in you. Belgium. Perfect indeed. Five from five, and there is the result. So yeah, right there at the top of the pool. Czech Republic it up. But Germany hanging in on the third, and Sweden will advance, Azerbaijan and Greece are out of the tournament and there are three other pool three other pool the EU to check out who's gonna play who in the next round of 16. This was the last pool play match. So there are the stands. Battling it out in the next round of competition, which begins on Saturday, to see who will make it to the CEB Euro Finals in Mills in Belgium. And third for now, from all of us here at the CEB, thanks for watching. My name is Key Michael, and we'll catch you on the next one.